Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to some more Terra Genesis episode 14 for the series here. And uh, nice, I just got an extra culture point for one. And two, if you look at our planet, you'll see that it finally looks like anything but a gas giant. So finally, after weeks of waiting, temperature currently sitting at a very nice 322,800 uh, millikelves, which is great. Because um, we're really close to the 287,000 gold. This should be really easy to tweak. Pressure finally at zero. So we can build it back up to our goal of 100,000. Oxygen, uh, insufficient pressure. So no oxygen, water, insufficient pressure. So we just got to work on the pressure right now. And I want to go ahead and do all of this balancing off camera. Because that's going to be where the difference is made. So we're going to go ahead here and we're going to dis uh, disable... Uh, everything that is reducing pressure and then once we do that we'll take a look and see where we're at so now pressure is at plus 89 so that kind of gives us an idea of what we're dealing with that's because we've got the carbon fixers and the spaceport bringing pressure in so we'll let that grow because we've got to hit the goal of a hundred thousand and we should hit that fairly quickly with a plus 89 a minute the oxygen minus 60 so the oxygen should be fairly easy to balance what's water minus 11 so we've got to get water going as well what's causing let's see vapor and atmosphere global warming so we've got to get this going down retained by atmosphere atmosphere thickening so let's go ahead and make another colony here we can call it our temperature or heat colony or whatever we want to call it so we'll confirm building one. We'll find a nice high elevation here. This looks like a great spot. And we'll call it temp. And this will be a good colony for setting up uh, anything to do with temperature. First, we're going to want to get a cooling plant. So we'll build that. That's going to help us with getting our heat to where it needs to be. We'll also go ahead and we should probably get a hab dome built. Let's see, plus 10 oxygen, plus 20 water. Can we offset the oxygen in the water? The oxygen needs to be offset anyways because it's already out of control. So it'll just be the water we've got to mess with. So let's do that because I think the oxygen is plus 89, right? Oh no, oxygen is minus 60. Okay, but it's already at zero. So we can balance that easy by just turning stuff off. So we build another hab dome that gives us another minus. Oh, it gives us another plus 10. So that puts a plus 50. Yeah, that's what we want. It's going to be the plus 20 water we got to deal with. What do we got for water right now? Minus 11. Oh, so we want plus 20 water anyways. If we turn the ice launcher off, we would have a lot more water, but we don't want to do that. Just leave the ice launcher what it's uh, with what it's doing. And we'll have that run. Uh, as for research, you can see I've pretty much researched everything that was uh, super important. I don't usually mess with these ones because they just they cause you to offset them. I just upgrade these ones. It makes the most sense. So we'll just go ahead and we'll grab a couple things here just to finish up the last bit of research. And we do get the two cultures points to spend. We'll go ahead and spend one now. There we go. We've got one more to spend later on, but you got to wait some, uh, I think, three hours or something on hard difficulty before you can spend the other culture point. So that puts us at victory 75%. And with the other one, that'll put us at victory 80. So we only need two sets of culture points after that. Next one was population 500,000. That other hab dome is going to give us a population of 3,500. But that's uh, unfortunately not going to be enough. So we'll have to build more hab domes later on. Um, plenty of money. Um, literally $4 billion. So we'll never run out. And money's still going up right now. Until this is going down, I'm not going to worry about it. I'm not even going to worry about getting our farms going. Or our mines, I mean. These don't even need to be running at this point. Um, okay, so let me take a look at oxygen now. Okay, so we'll have to turn some of these off. These do give us more pressure. Um, if we turn one of the minus 40 off... We lose the plus 10 pressure, which is probably fine. But if we're building a hab dome, that's going to give us plus 20 oxygen. oxygen. Oxygen currently is at minus, correct? It's at minus 60. So that'll give us, that'll be minus 40 oxygen. 
Um, if I turn the carbon fixture off, that'll be plus 20, and that'll be plus 10 pressure that it's reduced, so this would be plus 79. So let's do that. Let's actually do that. So we're going to turn one of the... Nope, not here. One of the oxygen is going to be turned off. One of these carbon fixers will disable that. Okay, so minus 20. So now when we get the hab dome, that'll be plus 20. So that'll zero us out for oxygen. Pressure currently sitting at plus 79. So that'll slow it down a bit so it don't get too away from me over the next day or so. Water now is the next one. We're minus 10. The hab dome will put us at a plus 20. Oh, so the oxygen is not plus 20. Oxygen is plus 10. It is, yeah. Oxygen is plus 10. So we'll still need to turn off some of these O2 filters and we can do that. We'll get, that'll put us at 10 if we turn off the 12 and then we can turn off the other ones and, and uh, regulate how fast we want it to go but we'll be we'll be zeroed out anyways regardless. We can zero out basically is what I'm saying. The water now, that'll give us plus 20. So the water will not be zeroed out. We do get the global warming there that's putting all the vapors currently in the atmosphere. So, with the plus 20, um, believe it or not, this will need to be canceled out. Water's going to have to be canceled out back to zero because all this vapor is going to come down and put us near our goal. The vapor is going to come out of the atmosphere once the heat's reduced, which we are growing right now because the atmosphere is thickening. But there's only 23 retained by the atmosphere, so that's not a big deal. So let's do this let's go into water and let's get ourselves we've got the electrosis plants but let's also build a geocistern and yeah just one for now not two i don't want to build two we'll just build the one geocistern now for temperature i got to get the hab dome built there first for that county to be to make sense. Ah, okay, so that's actually what's being retained by the atmosphere. So this water is actually being... Okay. Okay, so we're going to go into temperature and we're going to get something to cancel that out. The cooling plant. Oh, we're building cooling plant. We're going to build two cooling plants. I could turn one off. We can kind of play with them a little bit. I may have to get that temperature down a little bit quicker. Satellites have discovered a massive incoming meteoroid that will impact Venus within days. It's too late to divert it entirely, but our scientists have proposed a unique solution. Rather than letting it impact, which will result in a release of gases to thicken the atmosphere, we could nudge it to air break through the atmosphere, releasing water and oxygen as it burns up. Um, no, we're going to let it crash. We actually want the pressure. It's not a lot, but it's a little bit. That's going to jump us forward some and buy us some more time. Now we're seeing the retained by atmosphere going up. Water still minus 10. Okay. Oxygen minus 20. So everything else is good. All right. And so that's where we stand right now. I'll watch it over the next 24 hours. But now you should see episodes for this series coming out a lot more frequently because the pressure has been uh, dealt with and we can finally start actually working on tweaking the planet to make it perfect. Um, you can already actually see some water here on the surface. So once we tweak the planet and we actually get it to where we, we need it to be, then we can start putting life on the planet. So... Uh, that'll get us in a good pos uh, position to do all of that. So with that being said, I want to thank you all for joining me. I do hope that you've enjoyed it. I look forward to seeing you next time.